Hello, I'm Clea Pratchett Wallace, and this week's video is all about a four-year-old little girl named Cleo Smith. Now, Cleo Smith has gone missing from her family, who lives in Australia. They were on a camping trip of sorts. I suppose you can say a camping trip of sorts. And they were in an area known as the W.A. Outback, the Carnarvon the town of Carnarvon at a place called the Blowholes. Now, I'm guessing Blowholes referring to like geysers, you know, like air springs, that type of thing, water springs. So it's a place called the Blowholes in Carnarvon, Australia. And a little girl has gone missing from there. Like I said, she's four years old. So Spirit, I want you to gather around because we're gonna, um, I'm gonna tell you exactly where I wanna be. All right, so we are wanting to go. They don't have zip codes. They have postal codes in Australia. So we want to go to postal code 6701. And she went missing officially on October the 16th. Her parents, the mother whose name is Ellie Smith, said they last um, had interaction with her at 1.30 a.m. on Saturday, October the 16th. So it's um, an overnight situation where she wanted some water so they gave her some water at about 1 30 and then they went back to sleep the mother and the father i suppose they woke up around 6 a.m and they're still at the campsite in carnarvon and when they wake up they notice that cleo's tent is unzipped taller than she could um unzip it herself and not only was her tent unzipped taller than she can unzip it herself, her sleeping bag was missing, and she was missing as well. So this was at 6 a.m., so they called the um, authorities, I'm supposing the Westminster and the WA authorities, and probably the authorities of the city of Carnarvon. Like I said, we're in the postal code 6701, and we are looking for a little girl named Cleo Smith. And it's October the 16th, early morning hours. Her parents noticed her missing at 6 a.m. Just need two more. So I'm wanting to be there. Let's let's go the day before. How about that? Let's go to October the 15th around dinner time. So I'm gonna be October the 15th around 5 p.m. within a zip code of 6701. A campsite called the Blowholes in Carnarvon, Australia Outback. We're looking for so we're looking for Cleo Smith. She's four years old. She's disappeared from her family's campsite. Alright, we have four cards to get us started with. Now, what's important to know about Cleo Smith is not only that she's adorable, but that the Australian authorities have offered a $1 million reward. Yes, you've heard that right. There's a $1 million reward for anyone who can lead to information concerning where Miss, well, not Miss Cleo, but little Cleo Smith could be. All right, so these two came out last, so I read those last. Let's go into these two first. All right, we have the Page of Pinnacles. And this is, this um, character, he does look like, you know, he's off in the woods anywhere. But that, to me, that's not the most striking thing on this card. The thing that I'm um, looking at are, are these food. These, like, little sandwiches that's falling. There's some, some kind of tempting food there. You know, kids are easily influenced with food. All right, the next card is the Knight of Swords. Now, nights are all about movement, but this particular night is also like, um, I would say a spy or a saboteur, you know, that sort of thing. Now, we are right now, we're in the time of October the 16th between 1.30 and 6 a.m. And with these two cards, we are there between October the 15th from dinner time until the time that she's going missing. So all of these four cards are leading right up to it. All right, but anyhow, back to this Knight of Swords card. 
this is someone who is um, watching, like surveying the area. So interesting character. All right. So this is the night before these two cards over here. And these two cards always shows up a lot when it's um, a couple or parents. You know, they're looking ahead. He's looking at his stopwatch. She's looking at the map. They're um, mapping out, you know, the rest of his camping trip. But um, Spirit says to look at the expressions on their face. And things are pleasant in this picture. There's, um, they don't seem to be stressed out. There's no grief in their foreheads or, you know, around their mouth or anything that suggests that they were upset. So it was an evening of planning activity. The next to it, we have the Three of Cups, which is, um, I'm going to say this is not children in this picture. Because the Three of Cups is usually um, adults sharing beverages together, which would be, which would um, insinuate that, you know, there were adults drinking an alcohol beverage there. Or they could have been drinking hot cocoa. I don't know. We're going to clarify. And to start out clarifying, we're going to use this spider deck. And the first thing I'm going to clarify is who's drinking these alcoholic beverages at the campsite. And then we'll see about the spy. All right, so as we are within the blowholes campsite. We're then the blow host campsite and postal code 6701. We're there with Cleo and her parents, mother named Ellie Smith, and other campsite visitors. Can you tell me who is drinking? I see you've already put one card there. Can you tell me more about the people that are drinking together? Oh, all right, so now we have two. Okay, the first one that came out was a deceit possible which is a negative card because it doesn't have triangles at the top so i'm getting like um the word coaxing coax, coaxing c-o-a-x you know c-o-a-x-i-n-g or however you put whatever whatever suffix you want to put on it but coaxing or someone being coaxed like, see the way she's holding his hand? And then the other card that comes out is loyalty. This is a positive card because this is two people both agreeing on something, both putting their intentions on the same thing. So this would be that during this drinking event, there was a, um, a bit of somebody talking someone else into something. And they come to an understanding. All right. So that's quite a bit for that one card. Let's move over to see who this spy is. The Knight of Swords. And to do that, we're going to... I'm going to use the movie tarot because it's all people cards. And it's just the major arcana in the court cards out of the movie tarot. But it's really good for getting... um. A person's energy. Spirit, can you tell me the energy behind this Knight of Swords character who is there at the campsite between 1.30 a.m. and 6.30 a.m. The postal code 6701. They are around Theo Smith and her family. It's October the 16th. Someone watching. Can you give me this person's energy. As someone that's here watching the family at this campsite, known this one, known as the blowholes. All right. So the card that came out about this lovely spy is Brad Pitt in the movie The Fight Club. Hmm. Now Brad Pitt is very um, attractive in this card, but not only is he attractive, like he was. Um, a young man in his prime in that movie he wasn't a child and he wasn't an old person he was you know late 20s early 
late 20s, early 30s, maybe between, uh, I would say between 24 and 38. So this is who the spy was. A charming man in his prime that could be compared to Brad Pitt in the Fight Club. All right, so next, let's get a look at this food, the sandwiches, the tempting food that I think personally was used to lure, lure her, either to lure her away, lure her away from the family, or if nothing else, something was put into it to make her sleepy. So just to kind of nail down what's going on with this food. And if I had to end this video early, I'm going to do a part two because I'm doing this on my phone. I don't know how much memory my phone has. But anyhow, Spirit, clarify for me this food that is in the Page of Pentacles card that showed up within Cleo Smith's energy within the postal code is 6701 in the Blowhose campsite inside her tent or at the door of her tent. There was some sort of a food that was prepared for her. Can you tell me more about this food? Wow. All right, we have four. And four of these cards are major arcana. That's crazy. Okay. So the first one that comes up is the Empress, who is a mother figure. Of course, your mother may offer you food. The next person is the Hierophant, which it could be the person that's in charge of the campsite. Maybe there was like a um, I don't want to say a bake sale, but maybe there's like some sort of a, um, a food table and it was like free food or, you know, some kind of sponsored food event. That could be where the food come from. And then the star, which is a dog. Which I don't, I don't want to say that they could have lured her away with a dog. But that's something to keep in the back of your mind. That the star card is a dog. And we're asking about like a food. What was because I know the infants can serve food and the hair of rock can serve food. The dog can eat food, but I don't think she's missing because she snuck and ate the dog food, so it's irrelevant. But the star is also um could be like a, a pregnant person. But I don't want to get hung up on the sandwiches. But also the card that came out is the Eight of Needles, which is the Eight of Swords, meaning that someone is closed off now or they closed themselves off after this event. I do want to um I want to ask more about the person that closed their self off or decided to go into seclusion after this. And to do that, we are going to use the Beauty of Horror deck. Spirit, can you tell me who closed their self off after Theo went missing? Or who was it that shut shut down? You know, like, you can just be tired of talking, just completely shut down. Who was shut down after the child went missing or went off into seclusion? All right. So the Eight of Needles is clarified with huh, the Eight of Coins, another Eight. And see, this person not only... Um, Is with the eight. Well, you know, the eight of coins is somebody working on something. As you can see, this guy is building something here. When I first, first looked at it, I almost thought it was like a um a little box or a coffin or something. But he's actually building a device that you could um put someone's hands in this way. And I don't know what those things are called to where you can make a person's head go in a hole and the hands be in a hole too. Like it's some sort of medieval torture. Hmm. All right. So now that we got the beginnings, cards clarified, 
I think we have time to ask just one or two questions before I have to start a part two. So the first question we ask is, who took Cleo Smith? Yes. Spirit, when it comes to Cleo Smith, and we are here at the Blowholes Park in WA, Australia, postal code 6701. Chloe Smith is, oh, there's one card. Chloe Smith is four years old. She has gone missing from the camp site of her parents, mother named Ellie Smith. Can you tell me who who took her? Can you tell me who um, lured her away or took her away from the campsite at the Blowholes on October, I keep jumping up, on October the 16th between the hours of 1 a.m. and 6.30 a.m. You tell me who took her and lured her away. Ooh, all right. All right. So first, first thing about who took the card is this: the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is the Eight of Needles. This is the same card twice. The Eight of Swords is all about somebody hiding their self away. So immediately, I would say, who's not there all of a sudden? Because whoever went missing very quickly. I mean, I know that sounds cliche, but the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Needles is the same thing. It's somebody locking themselves away. And the other card that came out is the Five of Cups, which is, you know, living in the past, all the woulda, coulda, shoulda's, that sort of thing. All right, so we're going to leave it right there. Again, I am Cleopatra Wallace. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up, or you can subscribe to my channel. Because who knows what's going to happen next.